Hey guys, so welcome to this tutorial for my iReal animated butterflies and wisps. Now, if you're familiar with my other iReal products, then you probably won't need to watch this tutorial, uh, only because it's, it's really easy to use. But if you're new to the iReal line, then uh, you'll then this tutorial is for you. So let's jump right in. So the product is located in your DAS library props folder. And I like to use the content library um, only because um, it's easier to see the structure of things. We have in the root folder, we have all of our prop options. And then in the materials folder, of course, we have our material options. And the AnyBlocks folder is simply a pointer and directions on how to load the AnyBlocks. And we'll get to that in a second. Okay, so in your root folder, I include uh, four um, single options and also four flock options. So if we were to double click on one of these flocks, you can see that it it loads the container and then the prop itself. Okay. And of course we can change the materials by um, double clicking on our material of choice. Now keep in mind that these are shaders, so in your surfaces tab uh, you'll want to be sure that you you first highlight your surface before you can change the material. So if I wanted to, for example, change from this uh, orange color to maybe a pink, I simply make sure that it's highlighted and then double click on, on the shader. Now keep in mind that uh, this is still a static prop. Um, if I were to play it in the timeline, uh, nothing would happen. So to get this animated, all we would do is simply highlight the prop and add it to our Animate to timeline and simply drag the any block out onto the, the prop. Okay? And that's it. And that gets the animation going. Now to uh, position uh, the prop and to scale it, um, we simply switch to our container and uh, we, can, we can scale it up and down as desired um, or we can move it around to where we need it into our scene. Now, of course, you can uh, load as many copies of the prop into your scene as you want. And since it takes up almost no computer resources, um, you can effectively have um, many, many copies of props and have a great swarm of uh, butterflies in your scene. And, um, and you, it won't slow things down too much in the viewport. And of course, to get it, each one animated, we would um, follow the same procedure that we did previously. Okay. And maybe we could, um, just to add some variation, we could um, rotate this one maybe about 90 degrees, just so it doesn't look like an exact copy um, of the first one. Now, as a final point, um, I just want to mention that um, you don't need Animate 2 if you're just doing still images. So Animate 2 is only required if you want to actually animate the props. Um, but if you're st just doing still images, uh, then <clears throat> you won't even have to worry about that. You can just load the props into your scene and position them where you want them. And then you can, um, you can actually pose them by using the morphs that are included. So you can see here, um, there's a bit of a, it looks, like a copy, but if I were to um, highlight the prop 
and then choose one of the morphs, like treat it like a random seed, uh, that will uh, that will pose that particular prop in a, in a unique pa position. And we can do the same with the other one. Okay. So that's only if we're doing still still images.